Lesson six is on applications. Example one tells us the forward and backward motion of a swing can be modeled using the formula t equals two pi times the square root of L divided by 9.8, where T represents the time in seconds for the swing to return to its original position, and L represents the length of the chain supporting the swing in meters. We are then told that if the length of the chain, so that's L, is 2.6, how long does it take the swing to return to its original position? Express our answer as an exact value. So, what we're told here is that the length of the chain is 2.6 meters. So that means that L is equal to 2.6. So I'm gonna take that L value and substitute it into our formula in place of L. So that's going to give me t equals 2 pi times the square root of in for L goes 2.6 over 9.8. Now that is going to be in seconds because we were told that our time was, me was measured in seconds. So that is in seconds. Now, technically, that is an exact value. It's just if this question was in multiple choice form, your answer might not appear in that form. Your answer might not look like that. So I'm going to have us tidy this up. We're just gonna simplify this at this stage. So what I'm gonna have us do is we are going to write this as t equals two pi times the square root of. With this fraction, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 10. I'm gonna multiply the top by 10, I'm gonna multiply the bottom by 10. So that will give me 26 over 98. It's much easier to reduce a fraction if there aren't any decimals in there. Now, 26 over 98, can we reduce that? What can you divide into both top and bottom? Well, I think both 26 and 98 are divisible by two. So now, this is going to be t equals 2 pi times the square root of, if I divide top and bottom by 2, that'll be 13 over 98 divided by 2 is going to be 49. Now, the neat thing about this is I can now write this as t equals 2 pi Remember, square root of a fraction is the same as root of the top over root of the bottom. So I could write this as the root of 13, but then what's the square root of 49? The square root of 49 is just seven. And my guess is that in multiple choice form, this would be your final answer. Now, to help you out a little bit with reducing that fraction, I'm just gonna show you something on your calculator that might help a little bit. If on your calculator, you worked out 2.6 divided by 9.8, okay? So 2.6 divided by 9.8, that's a yucky decimal. Tell your calculator to put that back in fraction form and it'll be reduced. So hit your math key. Number one says go to a fraction. So just hit your number one key. So it's saying take that last answer, change it into a fraction. And you will see that you'll get the 13 over 49 number, which then is pretty easy to just take one step further 
root of the top, which is root 13, over root of the bottom, root 49, which is just 7. So that's a little trick that can help you out a little bit for example number one.